So this is part two on how you can become a Discovery Vitality Diamond in 2022. And if you missed our first edition of this, please go and uh, watch the replay wherever you are watching this video. So in our first, uh, in our first session, we spoke about knowing your health. All right, today we're going to break down getting active. And I think this is a, a little bit of a scary part for a, a lot of new vitality clients. But we're going to try and demystify this for you uh, today. So this is where you're going to get the bulk of your points. And like we said, if you're an individual uh, member and if you have individual vitality, you will need 50,000 uh, points uh, in a calendar year to reach diamond status. And the bulk of it you'll get here. And you can get this in the summary that says earn up to 30,000 points per member yearly. So this is what you can get for exercising. And it's not just any exercise. It's a certain kind of exercises, all right? So this is a nice one. Um, you can see we're already in March. I've got uh, 13,000 or so. There are Discovery members that have reached diamond already in a matter of two and a half months or so. Okay, so it, it can be done very quickly. If, if you're fit, I'm still trying to get fit. So I have another 17, almost 17,000 points that I need to get and I'll space it out throughout the year to, to reach diamond. So basically what we want is uh, to exercise at a certain level. If you're under 65, this is, this is what we want to be in. Firstly, you can get your fitness points by scanning into your gym uh, membership. Now, Discovery currently has contracts with Planet Fitness and Virgin Active, where you can get huge discounts based on your uh, vitality status uh, from the, in, in terms of gym memberships. Okay, if you're on vitality money, again, we have to do this in another section because it's, it's quite a huge thing to try and understand. You're going to get an even bigger discount there. So if you want to go to the gym, and get uh, access to all the nice machines and the saunas and the steam rooms and the swimming pools and the various workouts that they have, you can go and do that. And every time you swipe in at the gym, you're gonna get a hundred points. Okay, there's also online workouts as well that you can do with, with Virgin Active via the app uh, or their online log on. So this is an activity tracker I wear and you get a discount from uh, Discovery. There's various promotions throughout the year where you can get huge discounts on this. And, we, and we'll go through uh, the Active Gear. Active Gear is one of the features of Discovery, something completely different where you can get this on a discount. So um, I actually didn't use Active Gear for this. I actually bought it. It was an unboxed on Amazon Unboxed. I got this for 800 bucks um, about three or four years ago. So what it does, it uh, tracks when I work out and it's, uh, it's a Garmin. So my Garmin M is linked to my Discovery app. But don't get scared with all this technology. It's just a matter of clicks on your phone, right? So my Garmin app is connected to my Discovery app and everything is synced. So I basically have to uh, press a button when I start working out. And then when I'm done working out, I press it again to stop. And what this activity tracker does is it tracks my heart rate. And this is why heart rate is important. Okay, so if we go back to this grid here, this is why heart rate is important and why the speed workouts are important because um, this is what the activity tracker does. So if I'm doing a light workout for 30 minutes uh, using 60 to 69% of my maximum heart rate, I'm gonna get 100 vitality points. If I do a moderate workout, if I do that over 30 minutes to 59 minutes, it's actually 200 points and over an hour is 300 points. And honestly, you're gonna struggle in the beginning, but after a couple of months, it's gonna be such a breeze for you to do. If you're doing a seriously vig vigorous workout, uh, you're going to look at 80% capacity of your heart rate. And if you do that for 30 minutes, you're gonna get 300 points, okay? Now, the heart rate, um, we're using the maximum heart rates because heart rates differ, differ per age, all right? So there is a heart rate guide here as well. All right, so this is the fitness table, right? So it's when it comes to your heart rate capacity and the 60, 70, 80%, it works by age, all right? So if we go with mine, 
I'm revealing my age here at this point, right? So I'm 38, all right? So for me to get the full 300 points for working out for half an hour, my heart rate will have to be 80% plus. So let me try, try and zoom in on the screen. So at 38, 80% plus is 140, 146 beats per minute. So my activity, uh, I, I'm doing some exercise. I'm swimming, I'm running, I'm jogging. My heart rate activity tracker is tracking my heart, my heartbeat. And if that exercise brings my heart rate up to 146 beats per minute, that's an indication that my, my, my heart is working at its 80% capacity. All right, and if I can stay constant for half an hour, I'm gonna get my full 300 points. It's not easy to do in the beginning, okay? But if you're a beginner, you're gonna work at a lower level. So if I can do, let's say 70%, which is 128, am I reading this right? It's very difficult to read. 120 beats to 128 beats per minute, to 145 beats per minute. So if I can maintain my exercise level at, the, at that beat, activity tracker tells you everything. So if you're looking at your a tracker and you're seeing that it's going below a certain threshold, you got to push harder, run faster, do whatever you're doing um, to, to do it with more intensity. So you're not limited to exercise, right? You can be walking on the beach, you can be gardening, you're doing something strenuous that's picking up your heart rate. I'm not giving you any other indication than that. Okay. So if you're in that range, if I can do the, the 70 to 79.9% consistently for half an hour, I'm going to get 200 points. If we can do it for an hour minimum, I'm going to get 300 points. And obviously you're going to sit with this grid and work out your age. And luckily with the Garmin and the app, I can filter in um, these kind of the, the vitality thresholds. So I know it as soon as I look at my uh, Garmin app, All right? And then if I want to work 60%, that's just 110. In fact, just sitting here talking to you, my heart rate is, it's not working. Okay, it's 95, All right? By just sitting here talking to you, my, my heart rate is 95. So if I want to work at the 60%, that's 110 beats per minute all the way up to 126 beats per minute. That's like aerobic activity, very lightweight. It's like just a, a cool breeze. If I can do that for an hour at 60%, if I do it for 30 minutes, that's 100 points right there. So you see, you don't have to work at an intense level. You can start slowly and build up to it. We're only in March this year. And uh, the, the key is to get that activity tracker because it's tracking you. It'll give you the most detailed and the most accurate, not 100%, but the most accurate that you can. And then when you really hit uh, your fitness goals, you can start looking at the speed workouts where you can get uh, the speed workout points. Okay, so in my case, I've used, I've got 30,000 points that I, I need to get. And this is where my main focus is on, on getting these 30,000 points and then the extras from Know Your Health and Making Healthy Choices. All right. Other than that, you can get some additional points as well. Nothing additional, but if you take a fitness assessment, you can get this done at a biokinetist or at a Virgin Active. I don't know if Planet Fitness has it. I don't work out of Planet Fitness. Uh, so you can get this done at the gym with a biokinetist and you do a little sort of a, a stress test where they take you on a treadmill they check your heart rates in the various heart levels. They check your flexibility, how far you can stretch in terms of reaching your back and you know, doing certain kind of twists. And they're gonna do a fitness assessment for you. And here you can get a full seven and a half thousand points. This basically means this falls under the fitness category. So you don't have to work out to get these points. Ideally you should work out because you wanna get into the group of things and improve your fitness. But like, if you're really short towards the end of the year, this is a quick fix. Uh, it's maybe a, a, a 20 minutes at the gym. Uh, you can also get points for steps. And as you can see, I've earned points for steps. Uh, there's limits on, on what you can earn here. So I don't really bank on it. 
So those days that I'm not working out because I'm really tired. And if I'm really tired, I'm out doing something and I'm walking a lot. So usually if I clock over 5,000 steps in a day, uh, I'm getting 50 points and over 10,000, it's 100 points. So what happens is, let's say you're walking and you're doing a long walk, intense walk, maybe 70, 70 to 79% of your heart rate uh, for an hour. And obviously now you're doing two things. It's your heart rate and your steps. You're not going to get points for, for both. You can only get points for one because of the overlap. All right. So the days where you're not working out and you're getting your steps in at work or, so, or the mall or somewhere, uh, the steps do count, but you got to reach the minimum thresholds uh, in terms of 5,000 and 10,000. But this is not a long-term thing. I think it's only maybe uh, 1,000 points that you can rack up in terms of your step routine. Okay, oh, it, it will tell us here. So I can give you the most accurate information. No, it doesn't. All right, so then there's the other fitness events uh, if you are with a Vitality team. Okay, so there it is, the, the home workout channel with Vitality. I haven't even used this, uh, but this is where you can get it. But there's some other uh, fitness events that you can work out with. Like I said, Jeff, Jeff is giving you 50 points per workout. Parkrun is really nice because they have such a wide network. Literally every community has a Parkrun event. I typically go to the one on the Durban beachfront. And I think it's one of the biggest ones in the country. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of people on the Golden Mile in Durban. And obviously through lockdown, it was all stopped. But by just doing that one run and you get a little barcoded card and they'll scan you in and they'll scan you on your way out um, towards the end of the race. So you're not, it's not literally a, a race where you're racing against somebody else. It's five kilometers that you have to do and they'll scan you at the end of the five kilometers. And when they, that barcode directly links over to Vitality and by the next Monday or Tuesday, you will see 300 points show up on uh, your vitality app so that's pretty cool and i think run and walk for life does the same thing i think run and walk for life are, are on a sunday uh, i think that's one of the reasons i didn't go for that option because you know sunday church and all of that so park run usually happens on a saturday morning at eight at uh, hundreds of locations across the country and it's even international uh it's it is quite big uh if you're a golfer mm, Okay, you can link up with the handicaps network and uh, for every round, you're going to get 100 points for that because, I mean, it's, it's quite a distance that you walk uh, doing 18 holes of golf. So Planet Fitness, like I said, scanning in uh, is going to get you 100 points with uh, Planet Fitness and Virgin Active. And then these, there's these two health clubs here. I'm not too detailed about them because I already get my exercising done, but uh, most likely these are paid. Park run and run and walk for life for free, by the way. Okay, you don't have to pay for them. It's probably you just have to drive. Um, you sign up on their website, and then you get, you know, with your ID and all of that, you do your whole FICA, and then you get your own barcode, then you print it and you take it with you. And I just have them laminated and the kids have them. It's quite fun, uh, especially for the winter. It's really, really cool. Okay, we're gonna do active rewards at a later stage. So I don't want to overwhelm you too much with this. So that's it, we've covered Know Your Health and we've covered Get Active. Okay, so those are the two major components. If you only focus on these two, you can easily reach your 50,000 points. But the key takeaway here is to get the, the fitness device. Right, we are gonna uh, unpack the, the discovery, the device booster uh, feature that's with Vitality. We're gonna do that in a separate session. But for now, you have a thorough understanding of Know Your Health and get active to start getting points. All right, we'll do uh, at least three or four more parts to really unpack the Vitality product. We're getting the most out of Vitality, all of the discounts, uh, all of the coupons, all of the cashbacks, I want you to get that. And so that's the reason for, for this sort of um, discussion on vitality. This is only applicable for 2022 if you are watching this in the future. So look out for next week's edition. We're gonna be take, uh, 
talking about making healthy choices and how you can get huge discounts on your 